for me, being called a character actress is like the greatest compliment. To feel like you can explore different experiences and different time periods and different looks, that to me is, is the thrill. That was so fun doing Kinsey because actually I think I only had two or three days on that movie, but it was me and Peter Sarsgaard was my husband who I love and Timothy Hutton. And there was just like a group that came that day and everybody was so welcoming and happy to have us there. It was a really happy experience. I do remember flannel pajamas fondly, largely in part because of Justin Kirk, actually. It's a little intense for me to watch that because it's so physical and it's so, like, raw. But I'm proud of that funny little movie. And I think we, I mean, that was made on a shoestring budget. We had this trailer that was basically hair, makeup, and wardrobe that we would all sit on. And so it was, we were like, bouncing through Manhattan from location to location. So it felt very, you know, early days. And so I, I feel fondly towards it, yes. It was very exciting to be cast as Megan Wheeler in Criminal Intent because when you first start out as an actor in New York, you don't actually feel like you're, you've made it as an act, actor until you've been hired on Law and & Order. And so I felt like, oh, okay, I've made it. I can't tell you how many times I sat in the Law & Order casting offices not getting roles. <laughs> so it felt like a, an exciting thing. Dick, I've worked with Dick Wolf a number of times now. He's been very generous mm -hmm. with me. And I was pregnant with both of my kids while filming Criminal Intent. The first one we sort of hid. And the second one, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I think I worked until I was like two weeks before I had her. So I was hugely pregnant. And then after that, I didn't want to continue. And Dick Wolf was like, no problem. Getting to do August Osage County was amazing for me because actually right before that, I think I, I hadn't really worked much for a while and had two kids and I'd moved to California and things actually felt like, oh my God, here I am, like whatever, 40 something. And like, I thought that I would be someplace different now. And what if this dream that I had is, is just that, is a dream and like, you were wrong. And then I got that and it was just, it just gave me, first of all, the experience of getting to, I loved that play when I saw it. And all of those actors were, you know, I mean, my heroes for many years. So to get the opportunity to work with them was incredible and, and just the confidence to be invited into that group, it gave me a lot. You see yourself as some sort of paterfamilias, don't you? I didn't go to law school. What does that mean? The patriarch, the provider, the boss. Well, I was county treasurer, but those days are gone. I loved playing Esther Randolph. I don't think I'd had, outside of Kinsey, I hadn't had much experience doing period stuff before that, and I was a little scared of it. I thought you had to act a different way or sound a different way or something, and I then I realized like, oh, we actually you don't have to it's sort of, and and that that show in particular, they just did so much around the hair and makeup and the wardrobe that was like a gift. Once you're wearing all that costume and you're looking like that, and it was just so fun. Steve Buscemi is like one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I also love Michael Shannon, and I think one of my first scenes was with him, so that was a thrill. And I also just loved playing that character in that show in that time, where most of the ladies were not all using their, their brains so much, so that felt exciting to me. Dr. Lillian DePaul is, remains the character that most deeply got under my skin. Because I, I didn't, they told me a little bit of what her story would be when I signed on. I just really fell in love with her. Again, being from that time and being a doctor in a man's world and having cervical cancer and not getting her work seen because she was a woman that would ultimately save her life if this thing was around. It was a very moving story to me. I loved working with Lizzie Kaplan so much and I just loved the relationship that those two found. When she died, I was devastated. You're dressing differently. You're walking differently. You're getting manicured. Uh, I'm walking differently. Yeah, I think you are. I was so happy to get to do Black Mass. I was so happy to go home to Boston. Also, I loved Johnny Depp. I used to watch 21 Jump Street when I was in high school, and there were giant pictures, I remember, in our lunchroom of Johnny Depp, and I just thought he was the hottest thing ever. So to get to go to Boston, to get to play opposite Johnny Depp, I love Joel Edgerton. That time period, those clothes, that hair, that accent. We shot in 
Nashville. That's where the location was. We didn't use Nashville at all, but it was fun to be there. I love the director, Maggie Betts, and Margaret Qualley. And it was totally fun to go up against, or I should say toe-to-toe, with uh, Melissa Leo. Did you tell your family yet? I have to. Uh, I mean, I guess you could just pretend to go to work every day. I had never been to Philadelphia before, which is crazy, because living in New York for 20 years, it's only, you know, an hour and a half to get there. But I did feel like I had an understanding of that place being from Massachusetts and being from a suburb of Boston. Why didn't you come to me? Or... No! Just one thing! Why can't you just leave it alone? I understand Lori's decisions. I feel like terrible things happened Accidents happened, and I understand and can completely relate to her want and need to protect her child. You have, John. Why couldn't you just leave it alone? It's Ryan. It's Ryan! It's my Ryan! My Ryan! Ryan is not completely innocent because he still did steal a gun to threaten a young woman with, which is pretty bad, but I also tell my kids, and you do stupid shit when you're young, and you don't think the next thought. I'm not a lawyer, though I have played one on TV. I feel like she's, or she's suffering all the consequences in her life. I don't think she needs to be, you know, behind bars. I feel like John is, is paying a price for it, and Ryan is, um, but I'm open to, you know, being told, no, actually, this means you have to go to jail or pay such and such a fine. I, I probably wouldn't appeal that. Get away from me. I don't want to see you again. I hope for Lori that she finds peace and that she is able to help her children find happiness in their lives, too. <laughs>